Good morning, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius.
cars. Let's go, boy. I really need your help, friend. Again. I know. Listen, I know what this looks like, but uh, you've got to help me out again. I mean, come on, please. Oh, shit. Please, come on, friend. You're all I got. Yes. Relax. Oh, Again. yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, friend, I I'm about more broke than last time, but, well, I heard something you might like. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, I look like a thief or something? Or something, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Come on, pal.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns. Riders. Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. 
Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Hold up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bed. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Good ride, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tail. All right. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Get things done. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell?
Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. <laughs> Saving bullets is such a concern of yours. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun!
Slow it up. Wasn't done with us, I wasn't done with you either. No one's gonna recognize you. It's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel... I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. 
in the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. You provoked the hell more than hell! They ain't provoked, they're just wolves! Do something, Mr. Morris! Help! Hey, Rico! Stay back! Get away from me! This is a fool of an act! Again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when they ain't provoked, they're just wolves! Do something, To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Duck a little, will you? Make yourself inconspicuous. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Sort of is. You provoked them, Mr. Morgan. They ain't provoked, they're just wolves. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to... literally a dog's dinner. 
Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. The only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. I'll see some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> Thank you again. Fare thee well. Hey, boy.
Good shooting, senor. Thank God for you, mister. Les debo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio. Okay, fella. there.
Trust me. Look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, well, fuck you then. You don't have to talk to me about faith. I don't. No. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pot. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Well done, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. You know? 
Reverend. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy. What you reading, Dutch? Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. Arthur Morgan. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. Hi there, Arthur. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the ah, most incredible okay. way Hello. of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. Hello, Arthur. So you glad to be back? One big happy family again. Right. Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Swanson? Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. What is it, Arthur? Hey there. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. Go away! Hello, Arthur. There she is. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. That's Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. 
very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Yes, you always do. How do you do? I take mud over snow any day. I don't much like you. Right here's the thing. I found a place. You can find it because there is a crazy woman from outlaws that went there, but there's money. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Murder. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Ride fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You can go faster than this. Faster, Uncle Arthur. You see that there?
Look at that buck over there. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. Are you waiting for something? Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. <laughs> like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Pull him in! See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I wanna make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. There, got him. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Then, something happens, and you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You have got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There we go. You gotta stick at things, Jack. 
I know. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die, savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? I don't like it here anymore. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is.
great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. How are you doing? Good, as always. Wish I could say the same. What do you want, a medal? You just don't like the fact there's a new top dog. Oh, don't make me laugh. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, cowpoke. Good morning, Arthur. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Good morning. I know supplies are low. Uh -oh. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur. Yes. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> well, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Arthur. Hi, Molly.
Good morning, Arthur. How you doing, friend? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. Hello. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Hey, brother. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? Are you really calling me crazy? I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that, exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Welcome back. Ready for a clean slate? We'll let our folks in Lemoyne know about this. Good day to you. Hi. Howdy. You still stirring up turmoil, damn it? Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Afraid I can't help you. Hot today, ain't it? Yes, indeed. Finer than all get out. Howdy. Hey, mister.
a hand with your horse? Sounds good. Oh, hey, hey, come back! Oh, no! Oh, hey, sir! Could you help me? My horse ran away! Oh, this is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, accept my thanks as reward. I won't forget this. Sure, mister. Responsible for this. Heavens above! I'll help you die. That's what you want. Ah! Son of a I'll make you suffer. Ah!
Hello. Hey, friend. Yep. Yep. Mister? That's a nice horse. Thanks. Let's go, boy. Yeah. Easy, easy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, yeah, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. 
If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toad again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Let's go. We're going to miss it. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. You're taking us the wrong way. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're going to buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. Here, towards roads. So, we've knocked the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. And shoot your mouth. Get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up. Please, we 
We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Yep. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this ride, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Oh, you're captain. Go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm! Oh, sure. Go! I, I don't want to Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! Empty we ain't leaving each other's back, you fool! Be on your way. I ain't got nothing. Maybe what you have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Her. This is unnecessary. What's the problem here? Please, don't do it. Honey, oh. hey! Don't hey. do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Come on, you're better than this. I want a cap. Yeah, oh. Damn it. Oh. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. And I'm Thank you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery, boy. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Quick, come on! I don't want to get hurt. Anything. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money now! Shit. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Why don't you open your eyes? Okay! None of you folks move a muscle! You hear me? What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. 
A ghost. And this rocket's in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. There's some decent stuff. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> In my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Look out on the left! Here come the flames! Uh, and we got more coming from the trees there! He's still reading! Look out behind us! Coming in on horses! Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss.
Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Well, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. That pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Oh, well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
Easy there. Te lo dije. Sí. Ah, señor. I think maybe we see the uh, last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. I'm feeling good, too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? Who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> shoot! Easy, man. Perfecto! I'm not surprised. <laughs> ah, well, it explains the smell of tequila in the air, at least. Hey, you gave it a good try, man. How about a chance for redemption, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! That's good shooting, I guess. Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see.
You want trouble with me? That bastard out there is all that's wrong with this world. I wish I could squeeze his eyeball too much. Hey, stay Look here. Out. Hey there, partner. Good morning. Morning, dear. Got a smile on my face today. Morning, lady. Morning. Hey, mister. You best not be back to cause more trouble around here. Just passing through, don't want no problem. Mmm. Well, hello again. Nothing like a fresh start. See you later. Hey there, partner. Hello there. Hold here, boy. Howdy. Boy. the occasional loud mouth with my fist. Mm -hmm. Jesus, haven't seen anything this pathetic outside a dime discount cat house. Fine morning, partner. Good morning to you. You ain't right in the head, is you? You got a problem? and I have fair beats, and they both smart You know the what? Same. You're right. on. I'll be doing the world Let's a favor. The Come on! Let's go outside! Dream your mama ain't here to tell you which was just beyond belief. You made a big mistake disrespecting me. Trouble, I guess. <laughs> 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 
Hey, thought you only just left. Good morning. What can I get you? Well, it looks like Reginald didn't get you. Hello. Hello. You looking for a haircut? What's it to be? I can do just about anything with this hair, I reckon. Oh, that's a bit better. Fine head of hair we got to work with here. A lot of folk could kill for a head of hair like yours. Okay, that about wraps things up. Thanks, partner. ignoring it next time Hello there, mister. There's that appalling man again. Yeah. Partner. Howdy, fellas. Ain't you had enough fun? Don't need no more of your mess around here. Hey, y'all. Hello. Welcome back. I need more maids. It's getting so busy.
You arrange a bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. someone to take over for you. Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now don't you worry about a thing. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Ah, I do not like getting older. <laughs> yes, indeed. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, really? Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Well. So, what do you do for fun? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get out of this town is all. Well, at least this ain't awkward. <laughs> You're so funny. Doesn't that feel good now? All right, that's perfect. Thanks. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. Best night sleeping Valentine right here. Can I get a room, please? Room's all yours. Head on up.